So here's a little update. Um, in the tutorial you are about to watch, this is the bracelet I made. And as I was placing the bands, I recommended using special edition bands like the um, Persians, Medieval, things like that in the center part. But when I pulled it off the loom, it did not look very good, and I'm not happy with how the um, special edition bands turned out. It kind of gives it a weird look as opposed to how it's supposed to look, which is like this. So you can see it got very twisted and just doesn't look very good. So I just wanted to let you guys know that in the video when you are making your, when you're following my video, please um, don't use special edition like tighter bands. Like these are the um, glacier bands, so they're looser, and these are just opaque bands for that arrow part. So, um, I just wanted to let you guys know before you started making it that, that, that it did not look very good with this. So, um, I added this video after I recorded the tutorial and I'm editing it together. So, yeah. So, here comes the actual tutorial. Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make my original tropical twist bracelet. And this is a five pin bar design. On this one I put little beads in it and I'm not really happy with how that turned out because, um, the beads were kind of like a clear bluish color, so they kind of um, turned into weird colors with the bands underneath them because they kind of blended colors. But um, I still kind of like how it turned out. And it is reversible. I would consider this the back side just because this one has kind of a cooler look, as you can see in this one. But um, both sides are pretty cool, so it can be reversible. And as you can see, this is a little bit looser, so if you like that loopy look, then um, I will show you the place to use those looser bands. But if you like it a little bit tighter like this one, then you'll want to use like opaques or um, even limited edition bands. And this is our loom configuration. So we have one up and then step down with three aligned and one step up there. So you can do a full wrap or you can just do one loom length. In this video, I'll be doing a full wrap. And I'm going to use my Caribbean green, my opaque white, these fuchsia Persian bands here and my Medieval Tin Man. It's kind of a different combo than I've used before, so hopefully it looks good. But if you want to use um, similar colors, then you can fast forward to the end to see how mine turned out before you decide to use those. Okay, so first I will start off with my border, and I'm going to do that in, in the Tin Man. So we just start here, and we're just doing a basic border. And I named this the Tropical Twist because um, I designed it when I was on my way to Florida. So that's how it got kind of the tropical, you know, Florida's kind of like the tropical climate and stuff. And um, the twist because it's kind of twisted around the center part here. And if you're doing a full wrap, I recommend going up about 20 on the side lengths. So we'll glue about there and then we'll turn into the center. Just like that, and same thing on the right side. And make sure your bands don't get twisted as well. Looks much better in the end if all of your bands are neat and tidy. By the way, all of the bands I'm using I got from rainbowloom.com where I get pretty much all of my bands. Oops, and that's not a tin man, so we won't use that. Okay, and then we close it off and meet up in the center. So our next step is going to be to place, um, it's kind of going to be placed in two layers. And first we're going to place a single chain going straight down the center here. And I'm actually looking at my nose. Here's the placement and the looping. So. <laughs> so down the center I'm going to use, let's see, I'll use my opaque white. 
just a simple single chain. So you'll just place that all the way up. Okay, so I have that placed all the way to the end. And our next step is to place arrows on the side here. And I'll use my Caribbean green for that. Actually, yeah, I'll use my Caribbean. Okay, so they just go right along here. And then just go all the way up. And then same thing on this right side here. So they basically just go parallel all the way up on both sides. So you will take that all the way to the top of your loom and I'll meet you at the top. Okay, and our next step is to place even more arrows, this time going um, more inward. And for this, you can use pretty much any kind of bands. It won't really affect it, but um, whenever I did a sample, which I can't find now, but it's the one loom length, like the first time I made this design, I used limited edition for this part here, and it looked really, really, really awesome. So if you want to use those thicker limited edition bands, then that would be good. But if not, anything will do. So here shows the opaque, and here's like a dual layered band. So, Okay. So we start on this first pin here, and it goes up to the left, and then up to the right. Up to the left, and up to the right. So we're basically making just a V-shape connecting this single chain in the center up to the arrows going out to the sides. And these bands are probably the most important ones to keep tidy. We don't want them to get twisted at all or that could mess up the entire look of the bracelet. So make sure you're very careful in this part. So again, I will go off screen and I'll meet you at the top. Okay, so here's what it should look like now. And the last placement in our first layer is um, these outer bands here, which are my white opaque. It's kind of our double border thing. And I'm going to use my white opaque on this one as well. So we start from the center, and we just follow along that first border that we did. So it's just going exactly on top of that. You might want to kind of push down your bands as you go. That would definitely help. And then we close it off when we get to the top. Same thing on the right. You guys probably know how to do this step, so I'll go ahead and finish up this side, and um, I'll go off screen and I'll let you guys finish that up, and I'll be right back. Okay, now we're ready for the second step in layer two, which I just realized I actually called this um, white thing, that this white border we just did, I called that layer one, that's actually layer two, because it's putting a second um, layer on top of there. So that was the first step in layer two, and now we have the second one, which is um, to place these kind of hard to see them actually with these bands that are underneath. It's like the green right here and then the pink. So we're placing those now. You can alternate them if you'd like. I will use my Tin Man. So they are actually going to be doing um, opposite directions of the V's. So they're going over that like so. So these are little arrow shapes. And it goes left and then right. Drop the band down in there. Alright. So 
So you would just continue those arrows left and then right all the way to the top. Okay, once we have those placed, our next step is to place triple wrapped cap bands in the center of all of these pins. And I'll use my Caribbean green for this. So we start in the second pin up in the center and just wrap it three times. So one, oops, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. So just place those all the way up. Okay, when we get to this top one, we'll use, we will want to use two bands and just wrap it around as a regular cap band. And now we are ready to loop, so we can just flip this loom around. And our first step is to loop out this top layer, which is the V's. Well, they were the arrows, but now they're V's in this direction. So you would just push back that cap band, grab the top one, and we just pull it back to itself. Grab the next one, pull it back to itself. Now we go to this next cap band and just do the same thing. So I will go off screen and let you finish that up on your own, and I'll be right back to show you the next step. Okay, I'm back, and now our next step is to loop out this um, double border here. So from this cap band, we just loop these out to the side. And now, we are going to take this one, and it's going to be pulled not to this pin, but to the one above it. So if you're bringing it back to its home pin, it goes at an angle from the home pin. So right there. And now we grab this next one, and its home pin is here, but we take it at an angle to the home pin. And we just loop those all the way up. And this last one goes all the way up to here. And now we just close off this part like a regular border top. In the center like so. And now we're going to do that same thing on the right. So we start in this cap band. We can match the side like regular. And then we grab this one. And instead of going to the home pin, it goes at an angle to the home pin. Just like that. And we do that all the way up. And then we just close it off into the center. All right. Now we are ready for the next step, which is actually a little bit different than you would expect. Um, we are going to loop out this single chain here in the center. So go into the cap band, grab that first band, and pull it forward. 
And now we are just looping that forward through our unlooped bands as well. And kind of pull it forward carefully so that it doesn't, um, I mean, just kind of pull it out minimally because then it won't twist the bands underneath too much because we are going to be looping those out next. So, Now we're ready for the next step, and that is to loop out our underneath arrows. And we're actually just going to go into the cap bands, grab the top one, and pull it back to itself. And now don't pull it too far, just pull it really gently, gently, because it's not going to make a teardrop shape since it's looped in with these um, single chains going forward. So it can't come fully free, but it's just going to kind of halfway and pull it back, just like that. So as you can see, it's not making a teardrop, tear drop, but that's what we want. So, if it looks like that, then you are doing it right. This is kind of a time-consuming step, and you have to be really careful because your bands will be kind of tight in this spot. I'll show you one more time. Pull them back to themselves. Alright, so I'm going to go off screen, finish that up all the way to the top, and I'll be right back to show you the next step. Okay, so I'm back, and um, just to show you this last one should have just looped out from here like normal. Um, so it'll look a little bit different, but that's how that goes. And now, I have to look at my instructions here. Okay. So now these outer arrows are just going to loop back to themselves. So we go in here, pull it back, and same thing on the right, they just pull back to themselves. Very simple. It might be kind of tense from these tight bands, so just pull them carefully. And you'll do that all the way up, so I'll go off screen and finish that up, and I'll be right back. Alright, so now we are ready for our next and final step, which is just to loop out this basic perimeter. Just go in there, pull it out. Pull it out to itself, and then we just loop it straight forward. Make sure the bands don't get twisted again. Same thing on the right. And to save some time, since this step is so simple, I'm actually going to go off screen. And I'll meet you back at these corners to show you how to close it off. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now we just close it off from these corners. Just loop it into the center. And then from the right corner, loop it into the center as well. Okay, now you can take one band or two. I recommend using two. And you can just stick your hook through that middle pin. Make sure you get through all the bands. Put your hooks on there. Put your hook on those pans and pull it through. <laughs> just like that. And now you'll want to attach your C-clip, which I forgot to get. So I will go grab one and I'll be right back. Alright, so I grabbed a C-clip and attached it onto there, and I'm ready to remove our loom, or remove our bracelet from the loom. So carefully with your hook, remove it from one pin at a time. Do not tear it off, please, because you could break some bands. So I'll do this off screen, and I'll come right back with the finished product. 
Okay, so here it is fresh off the loom, and I'm actually not happy with the color combo at all. Um, especially because I don't think these special edition bands in the center turned out very well. Um, limited edition looks really nice, and like dual layered thinner bands. I think these uh, Persian bands were just too tight. But um, no matter what band you use, I recommend kind of stretching it from the center out like this. Because it looks much better if you have kind of bigger loops in the center. So what I mean by that is these look kind of small, as you can see. If I can get to focus. Yeah, they're kind of smaller loops, but then if you look at these, they're like bigger, full loops. So you'll want to just kind of pull them out this way. And do that until it's a little bit wider. And then you can also kind of um, come to the back, get them untwisted, all that good stuff. But yeah, um, just depending on the band you use, you might pull it off the loom and it'll just be absolutely perfect. Or, um, you know, if you use some tighter or different bands, then it might be a little bit um, messy and you'll have to work on it a little bit. But I think as long as you just untwist the bands and kind of untighten some of them, then I think it'll look really nice either way. This one's already kind of starting to grow on me. Yeah. But it definitely definitely looks better with the regular bands. So I will put that update in the beginning of the video, actually, which you will, um, I haven't edited it yet, but you'll probably know what I'm talking about when you see this, because I'll probably have a little update thing in the beginning that says, do not use special edition bands. I don't know. So anyways, I hope you guys like this design. And if you make a rendition, please post it on Instagram and tag me at Lumaniac. And also use hashtag tropical twist, bra tropical twist bracelet so I can see all your renditions in one place. If you liked this video and the bracelet, then please give it a big thumbs up below. And subscribe to my channel. And I think that's about all. So thanks for watching. Bye.